only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! You threatening me? You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Go oh, the hell's with this. These little devils get away with everything because of godly bastards like you! You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> Thanks to you, that kid is my locket. My mum gave that to me on her deathbed. Get out of my face. Got nothing to say to you. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. You find the edges of a concealed entrance. No trigger or handle, though. No way to open it. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck, but since you're already holding the thing, Call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? Hey, not so loud. You caught me, all right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just... Trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. I uh, don't know what you mean. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? Uh-huh. Huh. Interesting. And I promise, this isn't a Tinker's Trash scam. Look, I swear to you, these rings are the real deal. I promise, I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? I knew it. Hang on. That's what I got. Nothing caught you. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn.
You see her hand in your bags and the shame in her heart. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or...? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around her. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Bite everything. Mm. <laughs> Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. <laughs> His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. I heard you help Melly with that locket. I owe you for that. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? That kid stole the one thing that means anything to me. Got nothing to say to you. You got nothing I want. You found it. I don't know what to say. I know it's stupid. It's all I have of her is all. Kind of you, friend. It's something for your troubles. Not long, matter of fact.
she stole it from a house, she cleaned. All right. They didn't pay her much. They owed her a perk or two. Ain't the same, and you know it. Anyway, I meant what I said. Thanks for what you did. I gotta go. 